Hi, I'm Billy Chainsaw from Bizarre Magazine and Shock Horror, and this is Emily Hagins, the director of My Sucky Teen Romance. Emily, how old are you? Um, 18 years old. And how old were you when you made the film? Uh, I started um, writing the script when I was 16, and it took about a year and a half from uh, script writing to completion. But um, it's your third film, isn't it? Yes. So how old were you when you made your first film? I was 12 when I, uh, well, I guess I was 10 when I started writing the script, and then when you're just getting your friends from elementary school to be in your movie, it's a lot of um, trial and error. So by the time I finished uh, my first feature, I did the majority of it when I was 12 and finished when I was 13. So what's the subject matter of your first film? Uh, zombies. And what's it called? The Pathogen. <laughs> Sorry, it was a, uh, but yeah, it's, it's just really straightforward. You say The Pathogen? Goofy. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Straightforward, goofy, kids fighting zombies, um, lots of oozy blood and guts, um, and also, you know, it's it's made by a 12-year-old, so that's, you know, a little camera. Well, there's not that many female directors in the industry, never mind 12-year-olds, <laughs> or as you are now, 18. Mm -hmm. So, and as you, aside from that, mm -hmm. with the genre that you've gone for, what was the influence behind you going into the horror genre in the first place? What was your first introduction to horror? I was really scared of almost everything, even in real life, like Halloween or um, just people in costumes. And then I saw a really goofy um, horror movie called Undead from Australia. And it was just, uh, it was so over the top and I was laughing and not as scared as I usually was of everything. And I thought, well, it'd be fun to really make something like this and take all these elements that I think are, are fun and learn how to make it so it's not something that really scares me. And, um, and so I just stopped being scared of horror movies and just analyzed them more and figured out what I enjoyed. So you did actually watch horror movies before, they just terrified you to death. <laughs> Every once in a while I would be at a party or something and then, um, after Undead, I watched, that's all I wanted to watch, and I got a little obsessive um, just as like research for wanting to make my own. So I wanted to see, well, do I want to make a zombie movie or a ghost movie? And, um, and then I figured it out from there. Well, most parents would be alarmed that <laughs> a 10 year old, daughter, their 10 year old daughter, mm -hmm. was actually into horror, yeah. never mind writing and making their own film. How mm -hmm. were your parents about it, or were they supportive? Yeah, they were. Um, well, they both thought of it as just a little hobby I wanted to do on the side at first, but um, they had both come from, uh, they both really liked movies, but not in a career way, but um, my dad worked in a video store and worked in advertising, and they thought it was cool, and they bought a little camera and uh, just let me try it out, but because my dad had worked in advertising, he showed me like an actual process that needed to be go th gone through, and uh, so I, I storyboarded, and wrote out my scripts and shot plans at 10. I thought that was just how you made a movie. I didn't just grab and go all the time because um, he really helped me understand that it was all part of a larger process. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was really invaluable for me because I don't know if I would have been able to finish my feature if I just thought, I'll just shoot you know, any day of the week and it'll be fine. And <laughs> yeah. So how long was the first film? It's a little bit over an hour, so it's pretty short for a feature. It's still a feature. Yeah. <laughs> and what about the second film? What was that called? Uh, that's called The Retelling. It's a very dark um, murder mystery with ghosts in it. Um, it's, a, it's a big step up from Pathogen, but I think the newest film, uh, the My Sucky Teen Romance, is a very, very different step up um, in a lot of ways. But I don't think I would have been able to get to that film without having made The Retelling. Mm -hmm. Well, the second one sounds a bit more serious <laughs> as such. Mm -hmm. Were you going more for the fear angle than the laughs with the second film? Yeah, it's definitely um, psychological and it's all about a, a kid figuring out um, what what's happening with his grandfather because he has this very bizarre relationship with this ghost family but nobody really knows about it. So he's trying to figure out the ghost intentions with his grandfather. So it's a, it's a family story it, it's also just eerie. <laughs> So do you believe in the supernatural? Uh, I don't I don't deny it. I think <laughs> um, it's it's a very interesting way to make movies because you get to use different s scare techniques and you get to participate with an audience when you're laughing and screaming and um, but in in real life I just I don't want to deny it, you know, because it could exist out there. I think ghost stories come from somewhere, but um, but I'm not a like a firm believer.
guess. Okay. So moving on to My Sucky Teen Romance, tell us about the plot for that. Uh, a group of geeky kids go to a science fiction convention every year, and uh, because the vampire phenomenon is so prevalent, uh, there's a lot of people dressed up as vampires, but some of them turn out to be real vampires that are using it to look for victims. And so one of the kids gets bitten, and they have to use their knowledge of pop culture to um, figure out how to turn her back before it's too late, and there's a little bit of romance in there, uh, hence the title. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have you got a message for young filmmakers? I think my n number one piece of advice, which I got from somebody else who uh, made movies at a very young age, um, is that to persevere through all of the challenges because inevitably things will go wrong and not the way you planned. But it's not always wrong, <laughs> necessarily. It's just different. And if you just embrace that and uh, work through it, you'll, you'll get some you know, knowledge from the experience. And then uh, it might be something you could have never predicted, but it could be the best thing in your film. So just That persevere. sounds like advice for life, not just filmmaking. <laughs> yeah, just persevere. Get Accept the mistakes. <laughs> oh. Accept when things go wrong and move forward. Yeah. What are you working on now? Uh, a time travel a teen dramedy. So there's... There's a little bit of genre in it, but not as much as uh, the last three films. Does it have a title? Uh, not, not yet. <laughs> I'm not. Um, so I'm you're still just at the writing stage. Then? Yeah, very early on in the process, but I'm really excited. I like the idea a lot. Okay, well, thanks very much. Thank you.